Hey there folks, Lenny Rudo here for Fish Talk Magazine and today we are testing a Rabalo 246 Cayman and it's going to be a lot of fun. I like this bow deck arrangement. You've got an anchor locker forward, a live well in the center and then as you come aft on the starboard side there's actually a fish box. And over on the port side, Rabalo has turned the fish box into a rod box. You got racks in there so you can put fish in there if you need to but you've also got a spot to put all your rods. There are removable backrests for those forward seats which are quite comfortable. The only downside being you will have to find somewhere to stow them when you want to get them out of the way and go fishing. This aft deck has a nice arrangement too. You've got a flip up bench seat right in the center. Storage underneath. It can be accessed like so. And then Nice big live wells, one on each side. Back here in the port corner, there's a special surprise. You flip this open, you got a spot for your bucket. Well, that's great. Pull your bucket out, you get access down into the bilge. Now here you want to look at your easy access to your pump for your live well. And also notice that the back of the live well has foam on it. That's really good for insulation. Helps keep your baits cooler in the heat of the summer. The helm has toggle switches with breakers. There's plenty of room for electronics there. And on top of that, yeah, there's a head inside of that console. Yeah, it's a little tight down there, but totally doable. When Captain Tommy hit the throttles, this boat get up and went. At 4,500 RPM, we were cruising at 37 miles an hour. And at 5,900 RPM, we hit a top end of 48.5. Now, it was quite breezy on test day. I'm pretty sure this could be a 50 mile an hour boat if it's trimmed out just so in your flat water. Now, that said, it wasn't incredibly rough, but the boat did eat right through the chop. The Cayman has a 16 degree transom dead rise. This is, a, this is pretty standard, really, for a bay boat. It's not like a deep V. It's a little rougher in big seas, but as the trade-off, you get incredibly shallow drift and, of course, magnificent stability. Mid-Atlantic anglers have definitely begun to realize just how fishable a bay boat can be in areas like the Chesapeake. And packaged with a Yamaha F300, the Cayman is a ton of fun to run. So if you're interested, take one for a sea trial. Heck, the worst you can do is have a fun boat ride.